Okay, for today, I want to show you how to use the USGS stream stats tool. Very, very user friendly and effective tool to delineate watersheds very quickly based on just the topographic data and uh, just give you the first draft of what you need. Um, the tool is online, just basically need to open your browser and uh, type for stream stats. The first link is by USGS, so you can go there. And in the middle of the page, it says access application, so you can click on this. First thing to do is searching for the place. I always use zip codes because you know that results in a narrower uh, search outcomes. So let's do it for the San Diego State University 92182 and find it. Shows the SDSU campus area. Note that you, you have the option of choosing different base maps if you want to find a specific address, your home, your building. So you can use aerial imagery, for example. And then now you can see the SDSU campus and you can close it, put it back there. For the SDSU campus now, next step is finding the flow accumulation lines uh, delineated by USGS. So first thing first, activating California layer because we're in California. And now you can see all the lines you can like zoom out to see the big picture. If you do it like zoom out too far away, the lines will disappear. So zoom back in, maybe this tool right here on the left can help you to just do it in the way you want. So as you can see, there is this ongoing line that's for the Alvarado Creek. So we just want to delineate for the STSU tributary of the Alvarado Creek discharging later to the San Diego River. So let me zoom in and like I can just find this outlet as you can see, this is like the drainage line from the campus to Alvarado Creek. So I just click on delineate and pick my point right here to understand the SDSU contribution. It says your click point is valid, which is a good thing. You can make a note of this Latin launch because in other software later, you want to use this outlet point for modeling and for processing the data. Uh, copy this somewhere. And once you click this, it is doing the delineation in the background. It says, please retry. I don't know what's the issue. Let me. Pick another point closer to this, says it's valid, delineate. Sometimes there is a disconnection to the server. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Let's see how it works. Okay, it worked. Uh, yeah, sometimes maybe it's this connection to the server. It happens occasionally, but usually it is working fine. So I just picked another point a little bit upstream uh, because it still has the same tributary area. So this is what you need in terms of the watershed boundary. As you can see, the delineation is coarse because this is done for the entire United States. Uh, this is your first draft. You have access to contours and all the topo data to you know refine this. But you can definitely download this as a shape file. So it's now downloaded and you know it has the uh, all the SHP file for the centroid of the watershed and for the watershed boundary lines. So you know, now you have this, you can map it in ArcGIS or Google Earth or whatnot, but uh, you can continue to collect the data. Uh, you know, some data comes with it, but peak flow statistics is what we need most of the time for our purposes of flood control and stormwater management. You can also 
Download the basing characteristic, like the drainage area is usually very important. It's used for many methods, like the rational method and uh, elevation changes or percent imperviousness. Uh, let's see, like this is the length of the longest flow path that is very, very useful information. And that's also important. Average percentage in, in, of impervious area. You can put it right here. And that's the change in elevation. Sorry, this one maximum minus minimum elevation. And you know, other other check boxes also useful depending on your application. But let's continue with these. We can change always later. So you continue and it calculates the parameters that you have asked for. Because everything here is based on uh, online data sets of the DEM digital elevation model and also it is connected to other layers like the uh, imperviousness layer and stuff. So now we have the flow reports and basin characteristic reports. So continue. And now here's our report. So you can uh, pick a name, put your comments, a map of what you need, uh, latent longitude for the outlet point. And this is the characteristics that we asked for. Drainage area, uh, mean annual precipitation, longest flow, flow pass, imperviousness, and delta E or change in elevation. And you also all have access to uh, the flow information that you asked. Uh, like, you know, different frequency, different return periods. Uh, for example, if we are dealing with a 25 year event and we use the equation of uh, P being equals to one over T, probability equals to one over the return period, then one over 25 being 4%. So that's what we need for, uh, you know, the data of the, 25 year, year event of the stream flow at the outs, at the outlet of the watershed. And you can, uh, you know, download, that's the same download for uh, shape file and stuff, but you can save this. You can print this as a PDF. If you're working with Chrome, then you have the option of save as PDF, but also similar options are available for other browsers. So you can save this locally on your desktop and that's, basically it for using stream stats.